We're doing an editing tutorial, finally. It's well overdue, today is the day. Let's get into it. We don't need any of that shit, this isn't school. Just before we get into this, I do wanna say that I edit all of my photos in Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Photoshop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the link to the torrent in the description. Sorry guys, just give me a sec. Okay, let's get into it. This is an image that I took the other night. I haven't edited yet because I strictly was waiting to do this video so I could edit and walk through with you guys. What I'm gonna do to start off my editing process, I'm gonna drop these motherfucking blues. And then probably the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mess around with my highlights. So I like to drop my highlights and bring my shadows up just so I can see what I'm working with in the image. As you can see, my camo pants look absolutely disgusting. And I'm gonna come down to my whites. I'm gonna drop those down or bring them up. Um, I'm holding Alt, maybe Command on a Mac, I don't know. And I'm gonna bring those up just a little bit, just until I can see a bit of white in the image, so we call that clipping. So I'm just gonna clip the whites just the tiniest amount. Cool, done. Great, now I'm gonna come down to my clarity. This is an urban shot, and I like to have a lot of clarity in my images. They don't necessarily work as well for car shots or if I'm doing portraiture or nature, but it really depends on the subject of what you're shooting and where you're shooting. Um, so that's just a good thing to keep in mind. Anyway, nevertheless, we're gonna come over to Clarity and I'm gonna boost it up quite a generous amount, maybe about 40%. I wonder what 100 looks like. Mm, that's fucking bad. Okay, 40% is pretty good, I reckon. We're gonna do that. Now we're gonna come over to the tone curve here and the tone curve is gonna completely change the image for the better. So what I generally do is just grab this, bring this up just to... Bang! Look at that. See that fade? See that? I mean, a bit more. Ooh. Ooh! You know what, I'm gonna export this now. Done. Anyway, okay, so we've done that now. We've brought up the fade quite a bit. Uh, I'm gonna even bring it up probably a bit more. Then I'm gonna come to the middle. I'm gonna like just press it so it creates a new dot. And I'm gonna bring it up. Cool, okay, well, no, we're not done with tone curve. Uh, I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna press this button here. It's called RGB. All right, and I'm gonna come and press it down, and RGB means red, green, and blue. Every image that you ever take is made up of these three pixel colors, red, green, and blue. That's what you're seeing right now, all mixed together. We're gonna come over to blue here, and I'm gonna do the same thing as I did before. I'm just gonna bring it across, just the tiniest amount, just to give it a bit more warmth. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my red. Yeah, bang, I'm not gonna do it for green, because green's the loser. And down we go to the colors. Now these reds, they're looking a little bit pinkish, so I want them to be sort of more orangey. So I'm just gonna bring my reds over to the oranges and I'm gonna boost them up quite a bit as well just to get that extra. So that's good, perfect. Same with do with the oranges, bring those up quite a bit. Perfect. Yellows, they can fuck off. Yeah, they're done. Same with the green, you can fuck off too. Aqua, that can stay there, it really does nothing, useless. Blues, we're gonna come to the blues now, and I'm gonna bring my blues over the tiniest bit just to get that sort of lighter blue aqua sort of feel to it, and bring the lumens up just a tad. And my purples, I don't really like a lot of purple in my image, so I'm gonna bring that over a bit as well. Just mess around with that. Magentas over to the oranges. Cool, all right. So we've, we've made a huge start in this image and it's really looking great at the moment. Um, one thing I have noticed is this blue, it just sort of cuts off right here. So what we're gonna do to fix that, I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna press brush, it's gonna be cool. We're gonna brush over here and basically everything that I brush over, I'm gonna be able to change individually. So all that right there, boom, done. We're gonna drop it into blue and just match that color up. I'm gonna come over to my graduated filter. I'm gonna drag it down just the tiniest amount on that angle there, just like that. I'm gonna bring the exposure up and I'm gonna bring the highlights up quite a substantial amount too. And I'm gonna drop the blues because I love a bit of blue in my images. That's a huge improvement of what we started with. Started with this yellow, yucky, greeny, just shithole of an image. And we've already turned it into a banger. But what I have noticed is there's no subject I mean by that is there's no 
uh, when you look at this image, it's sort of just chaos. It's, I want, I, in all my images, I like to have a very particular subject point. So what we're gonna do about that is I'm gonna come over here. It's your radial filter. You press on that, and I'm gonna create sort of an oval over where I am at the moment. I'm gonna drag that down over me. Make sure my inverted mask is clicked. Tick that on. And then I'm gonna duplicate that uh, what, what I've just done to myself. So obviously it's gonna try and brighten again, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uninvert the layer so it's gonna affect everything outside that oval. I'm gonna drop the exposure. So basically now that really just centers onto me. So as you can see now I'm just sort of glowing a bit more and that's really what I wanted to achieve. I might boost this on the tone curve a little bit. Now I'm just really putting the final touches into the image because I'm relatively happy with how it's looking at the moment. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna hit export. I'm gonna go hit export again. I'm gonna choose a folder, I'm just gonna send it to the desktop. Um, I, I, usually I limit my file sizes, I go into file settings and click JPEG um, and then I limit my file sizes to around 3 megabytes here, so that's 3000 kilobytes. Reason being is I usually Bluetooth all of my photos onto my phone and I don't like huge files waiting and waiting for it to come onto my phone. And that's it! That's done! Now it's ready to go online. So that was pretty much the end to my editing video. I hope you liked it. Once again, if you did really enjoy that video, and even if you didn't, I'd love to hear your feedback. I'm gonna go feed my cat, and I'll see you next time.